Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Any person that says that they're an atheist is a fool. Okay? When you see all the creation that the Heavenly Father created, just the body alone, the way the human body functions, there had to be a superior mind to create it. Things just don't come into being without a mastermind to create it. Just like the car, the car didn't just come into being without somebody creating it. I'm talking about the car, the machine called the car, right? So it's the same thing with this human body, it's the same thing with this planet Earth, it's the same thing with everything on the planet Earth, the trees, the grass. There had to be a superior mind to create all of this stuff. And that is the one you call God, which his name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. So any of you that say that you're an atheist, you're a fool. You're a goddamn fool. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do of good. Now here's the point. The Lord looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see. And that's everybody. Everybody on this planet Earth, right? The Lord looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek the Heavenly Father. What's the answer to that? Well, beginning with the apostles. The apostles, the prophets, the teachers, they understand. And not only that, they're seeking for the Heavenly Father. Like Yahushua called them the true worshipers. The true worshipers, they're seeking the Heavenly Father. They understand the Heavenly Father. And the reason why they understand the Heavenly Father because the Heavenly Father have revealed Himself unto them. That's why. So the Lord looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek the Heavenly Father. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy as the majority of the people on this planet Earth. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. See? So that's why when you go back and read in Romans, now you understand why it says, how unsearchable are his judgments. Let's read it again. Romans 11.33, Oh, the depth of the riches. Now you see why this knowledge, this truth of the Heavenly Father is riches. Now you see why it's riches, because not too many people have it. Okay, there's a scripture where it speaks about the precious faith of the saints. The reason why it's precious is not too many people have it. These are precious riches that we have. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Heavenly Father, how unsearchable are His judgments, and His ways past finding out. And that's for the majority of the people on this planet Earth, but His ways are revealed to His servants, the prophets. Beginning with the apostles, which the word apostle just means sent away. Then you have your prophets, you have your teachers. Okay, the apostle Paul laid out the body of this ministry. But blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them.